Hey guys, The Cauldron Witch here, and this video is about connecting with the Saint Patron Lucy and asking to see the unseen, asking to basically borrow her eyes and for her to guide you to the truth, um, whether it's in a dream, whether it's a manipulation of the physical like realm and somehow you'll get the news either way when you do this spell with saint lucy you will figure out whatever it is you want to figure out whether it be an answer to something whether it's just to see the future why is my grinder blowing up <laughs> um anything that like i said you have a question anything that it's basically kind of like a divination spell but working with saint lucy so that's a really piss poor way of trying to explain a spell so try, instead of trying to explain it i'll just show you how it's done so i'll be right back okay so before i say anything i just want to explain i broke my tripod like three fucking times trying to do this <laughs> i don't know why i'm so dumb anyway so what you're gonna want to get is a white oops hold on there's a white candle a glass of water two rocks or really anything to paint some eyes on um a sharpie paint whatever you got i'm using ink and a paintbrush yeah now this is like you can be good with that but personally i'm just gonna add a circle of bay leaves catnip and lavender a lot of people will probably say that's like totally untraditional and i 100 percent agree but i am using the bay leaves for protection during this journey i'm using the bay leaves as kind of like an offering as well to saint lucy for helping me during this time i'm using the catnip for the sixth uh the sixth sense the um third eye you know seeing into the beyond and i'm using the lavender for you know the psychic powers again the third eye seeing into the future and kind of again also as an offering to saint lucy so that's just me, but I'm gonna put a circle of that around the rocks. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get that started real quick. Okay, so once again, you are gonna to wanna to paint or like you know, draw little eyes. Oh my god, this lighting sucks ass, but that's what you get for being broke, right? You can kind of see it though. Um, draw little eyes on the rocks, so these are St. Lucy's eyes. You're gonna white. Uh, you're gonna white. Yep. You're gonna white the light candle. You're gonna light the white candle in honor of Saint Lucy. Um, you know. You're gonna also do the same thing with the chalice of water. Now, first things first. I would always say, since like this is, if I'm gonna give it a type of magic, I'd say this is like you know Catholicism witchcraft. So, or Catholicism folk magic. Bless you. Oh, yeah, so if you're gonna use these ingredients, by the way, if you're gonna use catnip, and if you have a cat, make sure you give your cat some catnip before, you know, or like while you're doing this, because, yeah, you're gonna want your catnip. Anyway, so, um, anyway, you pray, really, to the Lord, or to the angels, I would start off with that. Um, you know, surround yourself in the right light, Pray to the Holy Father, um, ask permission to invoke St. Lucy, do whatever it is you do. But once you have invoked St. Lucy, once you have her presence, and uh, I can tell you from experience, I mean every witch is different, but I can tell you from experience that um, you will feel her when she comes. She is just this overall sweet energy when i first did this spell i felt her like hover over me i felt her already there as i was preparing everything and once i called her in and just like you can pray you can do like if you have certain prayers for saint lucy you can definitely use those but for me i just speak from the heart and as i was explaining my situation and what i needed to know um i felt her there and i felt her like really like like covering, uh, covering comforting me and like i felt like she gave me a kiss after everything was said and done um you'll 
may see that there's bubbles that'll um, rise up in the glass after like the next day or whatever if you you know choose to leave the rocks over that long um but preferably i like to leave offerings up until the spell is done and even maybe like the night after the spell is done just to give my thanks to saint lucy and um i think bubbles are already starting to form in that glass but i don't know maybe i'm tripping but anyway so as you're doing that you know you're gonna want to like, wave your hands over everything you know bless the herbs that you have here if you are using any herbs um enchant the rocks um enchant the eyes really and as you're explaining or praying you know hold your hands over the rocks you know put the energy into the rocks put the energy into the eyes i don't know why i keep saying rocks <laughs> well i guess they are rocks though huh but um anyway so now one however long you want to enchant the rocks is up to you you know you can just as you're like once you're done speaking to saint lucy you can use the rocks then you can let them sit overnight you can do worse days it's all up to you but once you know the rocks oh my god <laughs> once you know the eyes are ready to be used um now there's now at this point i will say like okay so like the herbs and stuff this is like i'm personalizing this and here comes another part i have seen different experiences like my friend has had a different experience i think the person he got this spell from had a different experience but i really don't remember but i definitely had a different experience than my friend and i think he when he used this spell he got his answer in a dream when i used this spell it was reality um my friend actually the one i'm talking about found out the truth for me in the most bizarre fucking way but saint lucy will never hold back <laughs> but anyway um so you know you can leave them under your pillow if you want um my personal advice is i would just leave them anywhere you are at a lot if you can carry them that's great if not leave them in the most common room you are in your house whether it's your kitchen whether it's your living room bedroom um leave it in your car if that is a common place you are at if you're always driving or whatnot um you know even leave it at work if that's where you are most of the time but wherever you are again most of the time <laughs> sound like a broken record as long as like these rocks like if i say rocks one more time i swear on everything i want as long as these eyes can give off the energy that you put into them back onto you so the spell can manifest, then that's what you need. Um, once the spell is all said and done, um, you can take the rocks and either leave them at the crossroads, you can leave them by running water, um, I, that's what I did personally, I left, I live right next to a running like creek and when i say running i mean like that bitch is like rushing all the time so and i just threw the rocks into that so you can do whatever you want um when it comes to discarding them i just wouldn't leave them on your property one or two throw them out um because the, you know these are saint lucy's eyes and saint lucy used these eyes to help to help you so i wouldn't you know do that but anyway so that's this is that spell i actually wanted to do this video for a long long time but i actually recorded this video but my microphone didn't work and i knew that and i still recorded the video i don't know what was wrong with me but anyway so that is the saint lucy I don't even know what the hell to call this. So whatever the title says, <laughs> that's what this is. But um, anyway, so you guys have a blessed night, blessed week, blessed month, blessed year. Good luck with everything that's going on. I hope that you and your family are safe. And anyway, yeah, have a good one. Bye.